there everybody, it's Jo here and I hope that you're safe and well wherever you may be. In this week's video, it's a direct message to those students that will have collected their GCSE results or their A-level results last week. It's a message to you guys directly about how you may be feeling and four steps to help you grow. First of all, I would like to take the opportunity to apologise. I have been watching the news, I've been keeping a close eye on social media about what's been going on with regards to the way that they were or did um, issue your exam results. And I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. It's been heartwarming almost to see the amount of head teachers and teachers fight to get what's best for you as their students. And I want you to realize that Grades don't define you, so if you do have that piece of paper, and let's face it, that's what it is, is a piece of paper. If you do have that piece of paper and you aren't happy with those grades, then I'm so sorry that the system had to change and that you were denied the opportunity to even sit your exams. But I do want you to realise that there is only so much you could control and due to the current pandemic, Nobody in a million years, I say that, would have ever been able to predict that this would be happening this year. So in a way, there's one thing that will unite the leavers of 2020, and that is that you're all in the same situation. You're all in the same situation. And I know from working with hundreds of, of students, year 11 and year 13 students, that whilst I can say to you that grades don't define you, I know that for a certain amount of students that your grades are your everything and that it was bad enough, you know, being robbed of actually sitting your, mm. your exams, let alone the way that they've been graded. But one thing is for certain is that you are still you. You still have the knowledge and character that you already did have so that's not changed your dreams may still be the same and don't come away from that don't come away from that and I never want you to think that your studying has ever been a waste of time because it hasn't it hasn't that will never be a waste of time because it's been valuable to you in your life and it will stick with you but those four steps to help you grow is the G is for your goals. I would like you to sit down with a pen and paper and I would like you to just think about what are your goals? What would you like to study? And to just check and tune in to where you want to go to in a sense of literally, is it the same as it was back in March? Because if it's changed, that's okay. You just need to be honest with yourself before you enroll into a certain course or anything like that. So just think about what is it that you'd like to do? Not necessarily what is the job. It's always a really tricky question. I remember being asked that, you know, what do you want to do when you were old when you're older? And I didn't have a clue. But just think about the career path or think about what you have enjoyed studying at school and maybe to take on and, and carry on at sixth form or college. I'd also want you to think about with regards to your goals. What would you like your legacy to be? When you leave this world, what would you like your legacy? What would you like to be remembered for? The R is the reality. So between you and I, let's have a bit of a reality check here. Those grades that you've received, you will, they'll have either got you to where you need to go to. And if they have, that's great. They may get you to where you need to go to which is brilliant, but you might be disappointed with the result. And all I'm asking for you to do is to embrace that grade and to realise that in your heart, to think that I could have done better. Because that's the truth. You may have been able to have done better. But equally, you're okay. You're at where you need to get to. So that's fine. You're on track. The other reality check is if you aren't happy with those grades, then do something about it and act upon it. Don't be bitter, don't place blame, but do something about it. That might be resitting them in the autumn, or it might be appealing them. 
But whatever you do, think about what you're going to do and realise that actually there are people at Sixth Form College or at your university that you choose to go to that are working and are there to help support you. So you're not on your own. And that leads me on to um, um, O, I was going to say zero, on to O, which is your options. Think about how you're going to do it. Do an action plan. Don't stay stuck. Please don't ever stay stuck. You don't have to have it all figured out to move forward. It's a brilliant quote. It's just acting upon it and thinking about what can you do? What options can you do today to help you tomorrow? And W is about the way forward. It's about realising that life's not going to be easy. But oh my days, it's worthwhile. And it's realising that you're going to have to keep yourself motivated. You're going to have to keep yourself working hard. And you're going to have to stay in tune with the reasons why and take you back to that goal. Why you're doing it. Why you're doing it. Because one thing that I do want you to do today when you're watching this video is I really do want you to celebrate the fact that you've left school, you've completed school or you've completed college and sixth form and to enjoy that feeling of, of getting through it. And right this minute with me, I want you to think about one memory, one funny memory that you will have from the time that you've just spent at school or sixth form or college or your apprenticeship. Just think about it because it was not easy, but you've got through it. And what's more, you've got through it with good memories with you as well. So hold on to them. And well done. Stick together. And don't forget that your teachers are still there for you and that you're not on your own. In the box below, I'll put, with the comments, I'll put links to support, to different charities and helplines. And make sure that you're open with yourself and that you don't deny how you're feeling. Okay, so make sure that you're, you're honest with yourself and maybe be open to friends or to family members. But just don't forget how you're feeling because I'm not too sure if you've realized this yet, but there is one person that is gonna stick by you and be through you through the good times and the bad times 24 seven and that's you. You really need to look after that person because nobody else can do it apart from you. Anyway, you take care and I'll do another video next week. This has become a hobby now, so uh, I'm enjoying doing them. You take care. Bye, everyone.